So we want the result just as fast as possible, but as Einstein said, uh, it maybe as, as fast as possible, but no faster, right? I mean, that, so you wouldn't really sacrifice um, speed for false uh, negative results, for example. You don't want somebody coming into the emergency department. Good news, you don't have the virus, the test is negative, when really the virus is there. It's just that the uh, technology, either um, because it was trying to go faster, didn't have time to do the, the necessary um, uh, uh, cycles to, uh, to have the, um, the PCR really do its job and produce a large uh, signal. So I think that's the, that's the thing is that we, uh, we in the lab are always inter interested in, and, uh, and the last thing we would ever sacrifice is accuracy uh, of, the, of the test. You might do things like pooling. Uh, pooling is one of the uh, strategies where, where which you would add four or five samples together and then test them together. So you don't use perhaps one, um, one test rather than nine tests if you were mixing nine samples. And if any one of those tests is positive, then the signal would go high and you would then have to uh, go back and measure each one of those nine samples. But in a, in a situation where most are negative, then that pooling strategy allows you to use far less reagent, you know, about tenfold less reagent, let's say, than you would if you had to measure each one by itself. So there are strategies we can use that don't sacrifice, that are faster and more efficient, but, um, but they're, each one of those has to be validated by itself as well. And uh, so it's, it's, um, it gets a little complicated, but it's worth it in many of the cases we're talking about here with COVID.